How do you fix a wide waist on stage? Some people just genetically have thicker midsections than others. Maybe you have more external rotation in your hips and it just gives you just kind of a thick frame in the center. You know what? That's okay. Is there a way that we can make it not look so wide and so aesthetically unpleasing? Yes, there's a couple things we can do. A lot of them have to do with positioning and abdominal activation. I have a water bottle here and we're gonna use it as an example, okay? I want you to think about this water bottle as your rib cage up here and your hips or your pelvis down here, okay? The concept I'm gonna talk about and use this water bottle as an example is called rib cage to pelvis disassociation. What does disassociation mean? It means these things are not aligned, right? They can move opposite of each other. Think about like those old like 1980s jazzercise infomercials, right? The hips go one way, the shoulders go the other way. So like these things can move opposite each other. So I'm gonna take this water bottle. We got rib cage up here, pelvis or hips down here. And now when I take the top part, when I take the ribs and I turn them in one direction and then I turn the hips in another direction, okay? And I do this and I twist them in opposite directions, what happens? We get real skinny in the center, okay? Now, if we take that and we apply it to, let's say, a front double bicep, we can manipulate what the midsection looks like by turning the hips one way and turning the rib cage the other direction. You can see here's a picture of Urs, the miracle bear. He does a great job of manipulating his hips and his rib cage to make him look like he has a really nice tight waistline okay here's another example this one's a little bit over exaggerated of wesley vissers but you can see his hips are if you were to see below this picture his hips are in one direction his rib cage is cranked in the opposite direction okay so when you're in a front double bicep i want you to think about doing that i want you to think about turning your hips in one direction and then turning your rib cage in the other direction, all right? That's gonna allow us to make that midsection look really nice and tight. I'm gonna show you an example here of another person doing this, all right? What we're doing here is I'm having him put all of his weight onto one leg, and then he's taking his hips and he is rotating them toward that side that he's putting all the weight on. What I like to tell people is to line up the kneecap of the weight-bearing leg with the belly button. It's a bit of an over-exaggeration, but it gets the point across. It shows that you need to rotate those hips almost as far as you can and then from here you take your chest and you want to point it straight at the judges or straight at the camera and you can see he's doing that right here so that he doesn't lose any size up top we don't lose any size down below because the quads are still activated they're still very visible but if we don't rotate our rib cage enough we are in danger of losing size in the upper body so how do we fix a wide waist on stage we have to manipulate the pelvis and the rib cage. We have to disassociate those two girdles, the shoulder girdle and the pelvic girdle. Turn one in one direction, one in the other, and you're going to have a smaller midsection on stage. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel.